news today that we could be one step closer to finding a vaccine for peanut allergy, with clinical trials set to begin in the next year and a half. I love peanut butter almost as much as this scone. But the truth is, peanuts are at the top of a list of foods linked to a booming allergy epidemic in Australia. It's so serious that in a five-year period, the number of young children with an allergy to peanuts has doubled, and an estimated 1% to 2% of all Aussies now face potentially dangerous reactions. We're talking about one one-thousandth of a peanut. We're talking about very small amounts, triggering reactions in the very sensitive people. While no one knows what's causing the increase, we do know that a serious reaction can kill in minutes. So is the announcement of a promising new vaccine a cause for hope? And if so, how soon will this new medicine be saving lives? Our own medical expert is Dr. Andrew Rochford. Rochi, people at home, a lot of people will be really happy to hear this news. Just how long until we have an actual vaccine hitting the market? But what they're saying is it's probably going to take about 18 months before we start clinical trials. And the important thing about any kind of new medical research, any kind of new medical therapy, it's got to go through the rigorous trials to make sure it is safe when it hits the market. So after that 18 months when they start the clinical trials, it's somewhere between about three and five years before it'll actually be up and running as a vaccine that sufferers can take. The thing with peanut allergies, Rochi, is that it affects the whole community. I know when I send Ollie off to kinder, I can't have anything in his lunchbox with, you know, nuts or peanut butter sandwiches. I can't imagine what it must be like for the actual sufferers and their families, how vigilant they would have to be. It is a debilitating type of allergy, this one, because it takes such a small amount to cause such a major reaction. It's a life-threatening thing. These people actually, they have to ask what the, the restaurant has cooked their last meal in because if it was peanut oil, that's potentially going to cause an anaphylaxis. They have to check everything that ever goes into the kids' lunchbox. It's, it becomes something that takes over their entire life, not to mention parents having to carry an adrenaline injector just in case the off chance that they're exposed to peanut allergy. So it, this vaccine will completely change their lives, not only save them, but just day to day. Doc, obviously sufferers had such an extreme response to peanuts. Just tell us what that reaction actually looks like. What it looks like from the point of view of a doctor who's had to treat it is exceptionally scary. What it's like for the patient is, starts out with an all-over rash, their lips, their mouth, their tongue starts to swell, they can't breathe because their airways start to tighten up, and, and it reaches the point where it is life-threatening anaphylactic shock, they lose their blood pressure, and, and really at that point they need adrenaline, they need all the support they can get, it is an exceptionally scary thing for anyone to go through. And, and that's why something like this is so exceptionally exciting for the medical community, because if you can stop one person having to go through that ever again, it's a major breakthrough. Now, we touched briefly on it in the video package, but the incidences of this allergy to peanuts in particular is, is on the rise so much. Do we have any idea why? Well, there's lots of theories going around from the fact that we're exposed to more peanuts nowadays just in our diet to the fact that our diet is completely different to what it used to be. Some people saying that lack of exposure to sunlight, vitamin D, could be the cause. Uh, the hygiene hypothesis, this is where we live in this environment where the kids don't get exposed because everything is sterilised from a very early age, so their immune system can't get used to it. There's a whole bunch of theories going around that at the moment. There's not one that's a standout. They're saying it's probably a combination of all of them. Well, Rochi, it's good news. It's not, it's not going to be on the shelves tomorrow, but uh, it, hopefully in the near future, uh, that's a, a great solution to a lot of families. Yeah, really good news.